report. Uh, but again, whether or not ice uh, on the plane had any impact on this crash still remains to be seen. In fact, we've got the audio from the air traffic controllers to uh, share with you this morning. In the moments before the crash, there did not appear to be any stress or fear from the flight crew, pretty much routine communications. Let's uh, listen, though, to what followed after controllers lost contact with Flight 3407. So there you can hear the uh, communication between the air traffic controllers and a couple of other aircraft in the area uh, when they realize that uh, Colgan 3407 has gone down. Uh, we're also picking up some other communications later on in that sequence, uh, which indicates that, in fact, uh, icing may have been a problem in the area. You know, we were talking to Rob Marciano about that and the conditions uh, in the air there. Uh, several pilots reported some ice buildup on uh, the wings. We've, we've compressed the time span here uh, to get rid of uh, gaps of, uh, of silence that were, you know, seconds long in duration, just to give you an idea of what was going on up in the air. Let's listen to that. So there you go. You get an indication that icing was a problem. A couple of other aircraft reported that they had maybe a quarter of an inch of ice on their wings. Uh, not a problem for most aircraft. And this was an aircraft that had a very robust de-icing system. Uh, got uh, in inflatable boots on the leading edge of the wing. It has um, electric uh, de-icers on the propellers themselves. John Lusich is uh, an expert at aviation because he flies aircraft, flies commercially out of the New York area. You've flown into Buffalo Niagara Airport many, many, many times. When you listen now to the overall picture that's being painted by the communications between air traffic controllers and other aircraft in the area, what is that suggesting to you? It's suggesting clearly that ice could have been a problem. Here's what happens with ice. Ice spills up on the leading edge of the wing and malforms the wing, and that reduces lift drastically. Now, these were uh, dowdy uh, six-blade props, okay? The, the way the props are designed is to bite into the air and pull the aircraft through. As the um, ice builds up on the props, it reduces that thrust and the ability. Even if you have 100% max power, you're not producing the same thrust. It's totally reduced. In addition to that, it builds up weight on the airplane and increases drag. So those four things are disaster for uh, just... A recipe for disaster. According to uh, the NOAA website, National Oceanic uh, Atmospheric Administration, it's really not usually ice. It's the result of, uh, of that, that is the cause of accidents when they're weather related. They actually uh, point to adverse winds as being the number one cause of accidents right. in general. But in terms of fatalities and fatal accidents, it's reduced visibilities and low ceilings. So where does and, and ice is really actually very far down, actually the second to the last in terms of weather related. So uh, is it just arbitrary what determines whether 
or not icing or adverse weather causes a crash? No, it either causes or it doesn't. But, you know, John mentioned the fact that this was a booted airplane as opposed to a heated uh, wing. What happens with boots is that you have to let the ice build up and then hit the boots. It expands and breaks it off, okay? If you keep hitting the boot, what happens is the boot is allowed to build, uh, the ice is allowed to build around the expanded boot and therefore it's not effective whatsoever. Not saying that's what's happening, but that's more of a common, uh, um, a commonality with booted aircraft as opposed to heated aircraft. Now, we, of course, we remember what happened to American Eagle Flight 4182 in 1984. It was an ATR aircraft, different manufacturer, but similar in design to this one. Uh, turboprop uh, overwing, uh, over fuselage, uh, an overwing aircraft had ice build up uh, in a freezing rainstorm Turn turtle went upside down and, and dove into the ground because it lost all lift. Uh, you know when you and that was that was flying too at, at altitude. Mm -hmm. Here you're coming in on an approach, so you're starting to come in. You're slowing down your speed. You're deploying your flaps.